everybody, welcome to Review Time with Isip. I'm Isip, and today we're going to be doing a three for one, yeah, three for one review of the Power of the Primes Pretenders. I call them Pretenders because that's what they are. They're Pretenders, they're mock ups. Uh, they're like just honestly really diminutive versions of the Pretenders we got way back in the 80s. And uh, I, I think they're really cool, and I hope they do a lot more of these. So we have, going from left to right, we have Micronus with Autobot Cloudburst decoy armor. So it's Cloudburst, come on. This, you know. We've got Vector Prime with Metalhawk decoy armor. It's Metalhawk. And um, Lege Maximo with uh, Skullgrin decoy armor. You know where that's going. So, yeah. Here we go. Now... These are really excellent little little figures. Uh, let's go ahead with hmm, let's go ahead with my my least favorite of the of these modes. That's only because of his colors and characters, and I'm not sure how it's coming out on whoops on the um, actual video, but on my little LCD screen the reds are very muted they look almost uh, in real life these this is a, a fairly deep red uh, color in the viewfinder it's like a pale almost brick color but uh, that aside it's a really nice figure. you can see by my fingers how small he actually is um, there's very little articulation it's about the same articulation as the original pretenders had which is you have arm rotation and that's about it Really, it is. Uh, you uh, you can't see it, but you, the little robot's uh, eyes are poking out through the visor there. Um, and it's pretty cool. This piece here comes out. I'm not going to do that too often because I don't like that, but it's got a small peg on it so that you can give him his weapon, just like the... Um, the uh, what do you call it? But just like in the G1, they all had their little weapons that would fit into their uh, Pretender Shell's hands. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for... I'm going to go ahead and put this back on. Uh, for this particular mode, let's, let's go ahead and peel out the inner robot, which is just a uh, Titan Master with a new back piece. Uh, they've done away with the little screws, which that actually, I mean, in one sense, that's cool because it looks better without the little screw. But on the other hand, that kind of sucks because that's going to make taking these off and putting, you know, swapping around new faces and whatever's a lot harder to do. So uh, I don't know how well we're going to be able to see this. Oh, yeah, there we go. Let's see. Sculpted fairly well, a little paint, not very much, but what's there is functional. It's pretty good, and again, it looks like it's muting the reds. Um, it's a it's a pretty deep red. I actually like the red. Um, sorry for saying um so much. Anyway, he has the same basic articulation as every other Titan Master. What I guess he's a Prime Master, but you know the arms move up, the head turns left and right and it's a bit of wiggly waggly and he can sit down and bend at the knees he can do a sitting pose um, and you can break his legs if you want to so there's that so we're gonna put him off to the side for a moment and uh, then we're gonna take this guy and it does have a transformation fairly simple you just flip this over like this Take this peg here, flip it down, and then you take your little Prime Master and you fold him all the way over like this. And you can see his little insignia. So which one were you again? Uh, Micronus. Um, so you take Micronus and slot him using the, the little pegs on the feet and put the face down into the little square groove and that I guess powers the gun you can do that 
um, it's okay, you know, and you can move the arms any way you really wish to, but I'm just going to leave them at the side. I like it like that. Or if you want to, you can bring the arms down and then sit this guy back up again. And it works, it, you know, you can sit him back up. His uh, backpack gets in the way of his feet. Uh, some of the other Prime Masters don't have that issue, but he does. But you can have it like that, and it can be a uh, like a turret, you know, turret kind of whatever. Um, let's go ahead and turn it back into the gun mode, and we're gonna zoom the other way and bring in a bigger bot. Bring in Rodimus. And you can take him, and he will, it's a 5 millimeter peg, so you can go ahead and, whoops, put him in there, and Rodimus will hold the gun. It's, it's a pretty nice looking gun, if I'm honest. Uh, I'm thinking of getting another one of these and painting it black, so this way, because they, they didn't, they don't include, and when you get the Grimlock, he doesn't come with his his gun so this is a close approximation so if I paint everything else black and leave this I think this would make a great Grimlock gun so we'll move him off to the side and we'll go with Skullgrain here and let's go ahead and zoom in and it features the exact same gimmick uh, rotation only at at the hand you can pull this piece off, although his is a little harder to do because it, it pigs in differently. So, um, and it does peg in as some sort of blade weapon. Unfortunately, the Prime Masters that are inside cannot hold these uh, weapons. Let's see, put this back on like so. We'll open him up, and there's his little buddy. Now, I don't remember what these guys are gonna are called, so I'm just gonna call him Skullgrin. I'm going to do as the the G1 and the, um, the G1 American and Japanese did. This is the little this is this is the little guy. This is the guy that's either inside the shell for the American or in Japan. Uh, this guy transforms into this guy. And that's, that works with me. There's this little insignia, which looks kind of like a monstrous ghost face. I can dig it. Um, it can, I forgot to show, show it off, but it can plug into, uh, into the Titans Returns figures. Let's raise this up a bit. This is... My toy hacked, slightly painted hot rod from the Titans Return line. I'm going. I'll do a full review on him eventually. But um, you can just swap this into place, and you have hot rod with a monstrous face. That's actually pretty cool. Like if all the Decepticons, or maybe if like there was a uh, third race of parasitic um, transformers that would be a great face for them like that so and it does work with all the other ones let me get uh, cloudburst cloudburst is actually a better match but yeah cloudbursts uh, robot on Hot Rod's body. That's pretty cool. So you can do that. Let's go ahead and put this back. Okay, and so yeah. So let's put this back down. Zoom it back in. So yeah, so you can you can have Robot and little partner standing next to each other. That's that's pretty cool. That's that's about how I think that's about the scale of the inner robot for the original uh, 
Pretenders was. And this has got some great... Um, I mean, the other, other guy had some great uh, details, but, I mean, look at that belt. And, like, the mesh on... The, and please don't mind my finger. This happens on, in, in the winter to me. The colder it gets, the worse my finger gets. I don't know. It's like an eczema or something. But, um, I mean, the, the level of detail on this guy is crazy. So, anyway, trans again, very simple. Flip down this peg here. Flip this over... And you have a claw weapon. And then you put this guy in like this. And it's a claw weapon. Um, honestly, I usually add this onto one of the Insecticons. And it, you know, because it, it, it doesn't make sense on the other robots. The other robots are fighting with either swords or guns. And then you've got this chunky thing with a tiny blade. So, you know, on an Insecticon, it makes more sense. You got the pinchers, and then you got these. So, that's actually pretty cool. You can, of course, do the exact same thing where you have it sort of as a little... Whoops. Come back here. A little sort of embankment. Except that it's just knives. It's just... I don't know. Like, the, the, you, I mean, I guess if something got close, it could you know, snap down and kill it, but otherwise, um, his, his, they should have put a gun on there, they should have put a gun, I'm sorry, this was a dumb idea, that was a dumb idea, hopefully somebody in Shapeways will fix that, make a piece that will fit in here that has a gun instead of these claws, I don't like that, I think his mode is the weakest of the weapon modes, um, so yeah, let's go ahead and we'll just leave him there and put him to the side as well, and then we will go with Metal Hawk, who is my favorite. Now, unfortunately, we never got a Metal Hawk over here. Metal Hawk was actually the best looking of all the Pretenders. You open him up, he turned into this really cool looking little, you know, jet. Chrome gold, not, you know, painted gold. And uh, he was awesome. And this figure is pretty awesome. Uh, the inside figure is cool looking, but he's, he's rather plain. He needs... Yeah, I've seen people paint this guy up, and he looks amazing. And my skills at painting are not as great, but I will definitely try to customize him. He looks, he looks, he looks, he looks good. And uh, there's his insignia for his whatever matrix power or whatever um, vector problem. I guess he controls time or something. And, uh, again, with him, though, with him, he actually, you actually see the robot face a lot better. Which is a shame why they, le they left it blue instead of painting it, because that would have come out a whole lot better. It would have looked more like the G1, where this was a helmet and the face inside was a human face. But, you know, it is what it is. So, we'll get him out. Um, this comes out again. Again, I'm not going to do this too often because I can just see stripping them pegs to nothing doing that too often. But he's got a gun. It's humongous. But he's got a gun, so that's cool. And uh, he's fairly well painted. I like I like the paints. I'm glad they didn't just paint everything red and leave it at that. They, they added silver, which is... I'm, I'm glad they didn't leave it as, as uh, gray plastic. This is... They did a great job with this guy. So transformation, you just flip that over. Flip this over. Then take this guy. Flip him over. Plug him in there. And I usually have this guy with my um, my combined Optimus Prime Maximus whatever um, as his weapon. Again, getting another one of these and painting it black would, would just be awesome. Um... He can do the the gun thing, too, where you sit him back. He actually does it the best for some reason. He fits in the best. Uh, put down here, and now you've got a cannon. So the other guy was gun turret, and then you got a cannon. So um, this is actually pretty cool. Anti, you know, if you fold this back, it points up. Then you got, like, an anti-air, almost an anti-air cannon. You know, I guess you could just... Tilt this up like that. 
and it'd be anti-air. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and get him transformed back in his robot mode. So we can get him standing together. And these guys are amazing little guys. I mean, their transformation is simple. What they do is simple. Um, as for robot modes, I think he and he have the best. I love Skullgren's. Whoops. I love Skullgren's monster mode. I can't wait for for Bomb Burst and everybody else. Or what was he called in... I think he was just called Blood in Japan. Whatever. I can't wait for all the other guys uh, to get here. Um... There's not much more I can say. They're little, they're tiny, they're a little poseable. They're not super poseable, but they do open up to hide another robot. So that's actually something impressive. I like this. Um, I like this line of pretenders more than I like the old line. I hope we get like a Catilla and some of the other um, other animal pretenders, and hopefully they they will make their limbs. Uh, they'll make their limbs like this, where we get like four limbs that can move that would actually be pretty cool that said i'm islip i love this if you want to pick them up i where did i get them i got them from where did i, I either got them from big bad toy store or toys r us .com. i haven't seen them in the stores yet and oh i didn't even notice that there's i don't know if it'll focus there's a very tiny Autobot symbol on the top. I mean, this is super tiny, right there. Tiny Autobot symbol on his... I was wondering where his Autobot symbol was. It's on the top of his head. Okay. Anyway, uh, if you like these figures, you can definitely go online. I got them... I think I got them from Toys R Us. Uh, they were only like 5 or $6. Some of them are like $8. That's a little much, but... I'd probably still spend it because I, I, I just like these figures. These are three figures I didn't have as a kid. And I didn't want as a kid because I didn't really like the Pretenders. I liked the Pretenders classics where Bumblebee and Jazz got a shell. And Grimlock. I didn't like Grimlock shell. And Bumblebee. Bumblebee was pretty good. Uh, not Bumblebee. Uh, Starscream. Um, this guy never made it here. If this guy had made it here, I would have definitely wanted to get him. Because he actually transformed pretty good. Uh, the rest of them... It, it, to me, the Pretender monsters didn't make any sense. In Japan, they make sense. Here, they don't. Um, but uh, anyway, like I said, I love these figures. I love these little figures. I think they're great little figures, and they're only like five bucks, six bucks. So they're not really expensive. Um, that's it. I'm Islip. Thanks for watching my video. Hope it wasn't too long. I'm done. Ciao.